lot of you have seen these videos that I have on the screen. The one with the cruise ship and the one with when I went to California. And I have some other ones on my channel too. But those two videos right there, they wonder how come I get such good distance with my Phantom? And uh, how come with my FPV I could go so far? Well, I'm going to tell you my setup. This is my Phantom 2. I'll tell you some stuff about it right after I finish telling you about my setup and my Phantom 1. As you can see, I'm flying with a Xenius gimbal. I'm flying with an easy UHF, a UHF system. The Phantom 1 software, the NASA software, lets you hook up any receiver you want. And that's why I have hooked up through PPM, the easy UHF. I'm flying with the Phantom 2 propellers and uh, these propellers they work really really well if you're flying a newer version of the Phantom 1 and they have given me increased uh, flight times. You can tell right here I have a VTX from Immersion RC with the spiral net antenna. This is the 600 milliwatt. 5.8 uh, transmitter and this setup works really well I have my parallel parallel plugs right here to hook up to my batteries and uh, I get about I would say between 11 and 12 minutes flight time with this setup the reason why I have the VTX right over here, the video transmitter here instead of the belly like a lot of people have is that I used to fly it on the belly of the Phantom but when I put it here I noticed an increased in video distance so I could be flying a little bit far further. As a matter of fact it was a lot further so the, the more you have the VTX I'm more out of the phantom's body, away from the phantom's body, you get a much better uh, video signal. This is what I have on my phantom. Now, on the receiver side, on the control side, I have, like I mentioned, the Easy UHF hooked up here with this bracket right over here, and uh, also have the bracket where the FPV television goes, right here. The way I have it hooked up, and I'll show you in a picture, much more clear that I'll include in the video also. I have the TV that screws, screws in right in here. This little TV from ReadyMade RC it works really well. It's a 5 inch. I have the power switch right here in the back and the, where the video cables go and where the power cables go have it to get hooked up right here then I have the Immersion RC Uno with the spiral net patch antenna this and this works really really well as you can you've seen on my videos I get really good distance and the way I have it hooked up is that I have a velcro here on the back which has velcro right in there and it stays put right there and it goes right in there well, like I said, I'll take a picture so you guys can see it a lot clearer. And that's basically my setup. I also use these battery Zippy Compact saying that the Zippy Compacts are yellow and they're a lot lighter than the regular blue pack Zippy batteries. These are 2200 milliamps, just like the stock Phantom batteries. They work really well. I've also purchased 2700 milliamp batteries that I'm going to be trying out. That'll be a total of 5400 milliamps in comparison to the Phantom 2 that has a 5200 milliamp battery. We'll see how that goes. And in a future video, I'll tell you if I get a little bit more flying time or not. Now, to the Phantom 2. With this setup, with the Zemius gimbal and no FPV gear to it, pretty much stock, just with the Zemius gimbal, it flew for 16 minutes. And in comparison to this, to about 12 minutes, 
there's not that much of a difference. To a lot of people it does matter, and a lot of people it doesn't matter. But as soon as the Phantom 2 and their assistance software, they change the option or they give you the option to put it on PPM mode, I'll go ahead and swap everything over because the Phantom 2 is a great flying machine and it works really well. For now I'm just flying the Phantom 1 that also works really well because of that extra option that I want a UHF system on it. That is the only reason. But both quads work really, really well. So that was my setup and those are my future plans. Thank you for watching and uh, check out the description. I have a lot of links. I have a new page on Facebook, DJI Copters. It's facebook.com forward slash DJI Copters. And that's where I place all my tips and where I place all my videos. I just started that website uh, last week. So thank you very much.